What's up, wonderful, amazing, sweet, and lovely people? How y'all doing today? Hope y'all having an amazing day today. Hope you want to still your joy. Welcome to my Miami's Joy for Life. Today's a beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys are so amazing. Hey, wonderful, amazing, sweet, and lovely people. <clears throat> Can you hear my voice? I lost my voice, y'all. For seven hours, I was praying every three hours, and each time for more than an hour. My voice, man, I'm telling you, went into the, like this serious prayer. Thank you to those of you who joined and you guys, I'm telling you, there's no way that you stay up and you pray as much as we did and nothing happens. God's up to something. God's up to something and I'm super excited. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good and taking care of yourselves, y'all. Today, church was absolutely amazing and I held hands with one of the apostles at our church and he prayed with me. So, I'm just happy, y'all. I'm telling you, because I've been through this series of years of, with, of unanswered prayers, thinking I was holding hands with the right people to agree with me. Sometimes, whenever I want to hold hands with some people who seem real, who I, I know are actually real, I still get nervous because I feel like, oh my gosh, oh my God, this prayer is not about to be answered. But you know, that's, that's the devil because of the pattern. But even in the midst of the years of unanswered prayers, there were prayers that were answered. And in these years, these recent years that God has delivered us from a lot of crap and trash, God has been answering prayers. It didn't mean that we didn't have to go through some things to build our spiritual muscles. We did. You know what I mean? We did have to go through some things, but God still answered prayers. Not exactly the way we wanted them to be answered, but the way he answered them still blew our minds. For instance, I, I keep telling you guys about my franchise, which by the way, you guys can go to my website, um, mshoemate.com dot dreamvacations.com and just check out we have i always have great deals i always have great deals for my clients so you can check it out and see what vacation deals you know meet your your budget and what you're looking for that's by the way but anyways um i remember when i first started as a travel agent it took about a, a year, almost a year and a half almost well it's about a year and a half it took almost a year actually for me to land my first clients and to get this breakthrough. A lot of people would have given up. A lot of people would have given up if they tried everything they know how and it seems like a lot of the people that you're coming across are people who don't travel or who don't have the budget or who think who don't who want to make you feel like your business sucks. You know what I mean? But anyways, a lot of things happened, but I kept going. The guy I had my business under, his franchise. He kept encouraging me and saying, you know what, it took us like 25 years to build this, so you don't worry, just keep going. You know, one day it's gonna happen, and when it does, it's gonna be like a snowball effect where good things start happening. I kept, I was like, okay, thank you. So I kept going, doing that while I was doing my other uh, customer service business. So, took a while. I was playing with the idea of owning my own franchise, and I looked into it, I took the webinar, you know, the class to see what are the steps to take in order to own and what it entails and how much. And the money it was how much the money it was gonna cost me is that it was gonna cost me six months of the money that I that I earned to take care of myself and children. I was like, oh my gosh, almost six months. I was like, wow. But anyways, I was like, okay, one day I'm gonna do this, one day I'm gonna do this. So since the beginning of this year, every every new year, I always write my goals, what I want to accomplish each year. And it just seems as though I never accomplish nothing on my goal. I'm telling you, it just seems like I never accomplish anything because I have some really major big goals. And then owning a franchise happened to be one of the goals that I set for myself. So I kept going, I kept going, I kept taking steps. And of course, having a mentor as well, paying for mentorship program and having a mentor was something I said I was gonna do when I had the budget. But then when I kept listening to the free messages and amazing podcast of the mentor that I wanted, the guy I wanted, Araj Vasuki from Voss Coaching Co., he kept saying, one day, one day we keep being one day, at the, and years later, you would have, years would have passed and you would have wasted those years. Yes, you could have created something amazing with your life. Let, why not one day be day one? This is day one. Why not make today day one and not that one day? So I kept listening to him, and that stuff kept ringing in my ears. I was like, you know what, I need to do something. Anyways, I did sign up for coaching, one of the coaching programs, and it's been amazing. I'm still going through it. But... I did that after I bought my franchise. Anyways, so with the franchise, even prior to becoming into enlisting for this coaching program, I've been thinking about my franchise. I was like, God, I want to do this. So 
Because I kept listening to the same program over and over again, telling me, make today day one, make today day one, I decided to step out and look for people who would be partners with me because you can have partners and buy the business together. And because I'm already in it, I could show them the ropes, you know what I mean? Anyways, I tried, I did everything I could, and it seemed like it was gonna work out at some point, but eventually it all failed. And of course I was disappointed. But because I do understand that God has a way of making things that seem like they're a disappointment, turning them around and blowing your mind. I was like, God, I don't know why this failed. This had no reason to fail. I did everything I could, but I know you have something better. You know why it failed, and you're gonna show me soon why it failed. I'm still hurt, I'm still frustrated, but God, I know there must be a reason. And this franchise, you must give it to me. God, I don't know how, but I know you're God and you're faithful. And it just helped me to release this pain. It is so painful. So painful to be holding on to this pain of like a failed dream. Disappointment. Anyway, God helped me. And I just kept going, putting one foot in front of the other. Still working, you know, the business that I had under somebody else's business. Another thing happened again that just got me stirred up. I said, God, but see, God, if you gave me my own franchise, I would not do this. This is what I would do. Give me, just make a way. Make a way. I was crying out to God. I was like, God, this feeling that I feel is the same feeling I felt when I was in college. I felt like I was being maltreated. I wasn't given the chance and opportunity I needed. I felt this way years ago when I was in a situation and relationship. Things that just was, weren't working out. Like It felt like it, a prison. I was like, God, I need you to break me out because I don't want this feeling. This feeling is all too familiar and I don't want it anymore. I want you to change it. Anyways, to cut a long story short, I made the step. I asked my franchise to release me and give me my certification as an associate so that I can go on to buy my own. So when I approached the team, I'm ready. And they gave me the price. They were going to give it to me because they looked at all of my commitments. They looked at all of my past sales. They looked at my experience. It was God. It was God because they never give people at the amount that they give it to me. It's hard to get it. I was able to buy the whole thing, cash, didn't go into debt for it. Y'all, I didn't go into debt for it. I bought the whole thing cash because I felt like if I needed to go borrow some money, like a credit card, because I don't have a credit card. I did before, but I don't have it anymore. And Dave Ramsey too, I've been reading his books and stuff and he just, I've, been, I've learned a lot of things about having credit cards and how he says, you better not. You know what I mean? Anyways, I don't have, any, I don't have credit cards. So I was like, what? so I'm gonna have to get a credit card to be able to do this. And then I was like, no God, but God, if you are in this, then you're gonna make a way. Anyways, God made a way. I purchased it. Y'all, I'm telling you, June 17th was when I found out how much it was going to be worth for me. When I made the step, I signed my commitment. And I had to have this two-week period to wait. It was called the due process or something with the state and the federal government. That you had to wait when you purchase a franchise, a business, and wait you know, for the whole process to, to go through. But when they told me that July 17th, I was like, oh my God, I couldn't believe it. I started singing praise to God. I said, God, you are more than able. Who am I to deny what the Lord can do? I keep saying, Father, you blew my mind. I cannot believe this. This is so crazy. I cannot believe this. Lord, I thank you for this because this is only what you can do. Father, how is it that you did this for me? How is it that this worked out for me? What just happened, Father? Thank you. Y'all, to this day, I still can't believe it. I just, for a few days, for two weeks, I was just floating in cloud nine. I could not believe it. My whole body felt like my body was just soaring. And my mind was just blown. It's like every thought that I had and plan that I made as to how the whole thing was going to work out for me, God just blew my plan off and gave it to me and made it even better. You see what I'm saying? Made it better. I was like, God, this is you. And I'm not going to deny the fact that this is you, so I give you praise. I appreciate you, God, because you're so faithful. Thank you for doing this thing for me, God. Thank you for making it happen for me faster than I thought. Better than I thought. God, I give you praise. Lord, you're so good. Lord, you're so wonderful. And I love you with all my heart. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Y'all, I was just singing praise to God. And then it just made me realize that majority of the time when we're asking God to do something for us and something fails along the way, a lot of us give up. We feel like because it failed, it is not the will of God. Perseverance is the will of God for us. We got to develop patience and perseverance. We gotta develop some 
some grit, some persevering spirit, and keep going towards where God wants us to go. There's going to be trials along the way. There's going to be um, setbacks along the way. But that's all part of the process. But if you fix your, fix your eyes on the Lord and keep that dream and that vision in front of you, y'all, I'm telling you, God's going to even make it way better than you ever imagined. When the time comes, it's going to be so much better. But you can't give up on it. You just can't. What if I gave up on it when those people disappointed me? People I thought would not disappoint me. Today, I would not be the proud owner of a franchise that I'm so proud of. I would not have the clients that I have. The things that God is doing, I'm in awe of. But see, I want to be in the will of God. I want to always be in the center of His will. I know that I'm going to fall, but I'm not going to allow myself to stay down. I'm going to get back up and say, Father, pick me up, help me. I'm a, I'm a weak human being, but your strength can carry me and help me through any circumstance and situation. So I'm saying this to say this to somebody listening, listening to me today. I don't know how you deal with setbacks. I don't know how you deal with disappointments and rejections. But I'm telling you, if you surrender it all to God, God will use everything that ever broke you for his glory. He's going to give you back much more than was stolen from you taken from you forcefully or otherwise he is the god of the breakthrough he is the god of restoration he is the god of restitution he is the one who will clean your slate once you ask for mercy and you seek his face and surrender which is what i constantly do i know that by my power and strength i could never do anything it is the grace and the mercy of God that keeps me going. And one thing about me also is the fact that when I fail, I don't take it as an indication to stop. I try again and again and again and again. And what I have realized in the process of owning this franchise before it came to this point, sometimes you may feel like it's about to work out, but at the end of the day, it fails. It's not because God doesn't love you. It is because God has something better. But you have to use that opportunity of failure to learn a lesson. Number one, God is going to come through, but you can't give up. He may not come through when you want him to. It doesn't mean that God hates you. It doesn't mean that it's not going to work out. It may not come through how you want it to come through. Hence, me trying to get partners who will take the initial financial load off of me. It didn't work out. God made it happen the way God made it happen. What am I saying to you? Without God, nothing shall be possible. <laughs> for me, without God, nothing shall be possible. I don't know for you. Perhaps you've been struggling too much and you feel like you don't have anybody. Nobody to help you, nobody to talk to. Have you called heaven? Have you opened up your mouth and begun to pray? Or do you just open up your mouth and complain about everything? Everyone. And you feel like everybody else is the problem but you. Or maybe perhaps you blame yourself for so much that you feel like God couldn't forgive someone like you or someone like you is too broken or too messed up to make it. No, God is the God of mercy and compassion. He loves you. He loves you. It doesn't mean that you're not going to take a whooping sometimes. You will. Because it's in the whooping that we learn, right? We learn in the process. But guess what? If you don't give up, you will see the salvation of the Lord. If you don't give up, you will come to that point where they tell you how much your business is going to cost. How much the franchise you want to purchase is going to cost for you. They don't give everybody that type of offer, but you. Because of the work. Times when you could have been lazy. You chose not to be lazy. You stayed up. You committed yourself. You're doing the work. Nobody was there to say, hey, keep it up, Mariam. You're wonderful. You're doing, your good. You're doing a good job. Just keep going. There weren't any accolades. It was in the dark seasons, y'all. Everybody else seemed like, seemed like they were having their highlight reels, but you're over here struggling and you're wondering, why does, it feel like it, why does it seem like it's easier for other people but you? But I promise you there's a process. If you endure this season, trusting in the Lord, never taking your eyes off of the Lord and stay focused on your goals, God is going to blow your mind. He's blown mine. And I'm trying to get my voice back from praising to, the, praying to this God and praising him because I want to see God do more. This is not the end. The Bible says he who has begun this good work in my life, he will perfect it. I want God to do more. I want to buy a beautiful house. 
I want to buy my dream car. I've been talking about it for years, the Yukon Denali. Now they have the Yukon Denali Ultimate, which I really love. I love all the specs in that car. So they upgraded it from just the Denali to Ultimate. So I want to buy my dream car. I want to buy a beautiful house. I know the builders that, I, that build it that I like. So what am I telling you? Trust in the Lord. Be of good courage. Do not quit. Do not stop in well-doing or in due season. The Lord will reward you if you faint not. All right? I could never tell you what I don't apply in my life. Sometimes I like to move in the silence and tackle things than just tell you guys every step I make, every little single step. Because I've said some things that people have laughed at and mocked at, but then I've come back and shown you guys the thing and then we're like, whoa, you know what I mean? So for me, whenever I talk about God and what God is doing, it's because I'm experiencing it. Because I'm experiencing it. The mercy of God is real and God is good. Trust in the Lord. No matter what the situation may be, trust in the Lord. He's going to fight for you. He's going to bring you out of it. He's going to favor you. He's going to blow your mind, all right? Well, thank you all for watching. You guys are awesome and amazing. Let me show you guys my beautiful um, blouse. This is a maxi blouse. It's beautiful. See? It's a beautiful maxi blouse, y'all. So you can come through, girl. What are you hiding over there for? So you guys, it's a beautiful blouse. I love it. Ah, y'all, Venus.com, right? They have some really, really um, fashionable stuff on their website. When I saw this, I was like, I oh, want this. It's really nice. I've never had a maxi blouse like this. It's, yeah, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. Thank you, baby girl. Thank you, my girl. So you're amazing. Are you yeah. amazing? Yeah. So it's amazing. That's my gorgeous queen right there. So you guys, yeah, this is the back of it. And my gorgeous queen too is wearing her pink dress. She loves her pink dress with a rainbow tool. You like that, girl? Yeah. So anyways, you guys, I just want to encourage you. God loves you. God cares for you. And God is for you. And if the Lord be for you, who can be against you? No one. All right. I love you all with all of my heart. All right. All of my heart. Thank you for watching. I'm still looking forward to Nigeria next month, y'all. Be a part of it and support today, okay? Show some support. The fundraiser is still up. If you want to support and sponsor, do it, all right? I'm going to be getting somebody to watch my kids for me. It's going to be wonderful. I'm just going to go and just give my mom a hug and have a good time and come back. I'm excited for it. I'm excited yeah. for it. So anyways, you guys, thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. I love you with all my heart. Stay blessed, okay? Pray for me. I need my voice because talking to clients... I need, I need my voice, especially new clients that I'm trying to um, wean over to my business. So anyways, you guys, thank you all. You guys are awesome. Bye, wonderful, amazing, sweet, and lovely people. So you're saying bye to them too. Bye. Bye. <laughs>